Hey guys, what is up here, you Number review this time for a superhero film, but not, but not your average, but not your, but a different kind of superhero movie. Something that we don't get a lot of. R-rated superhero movies. You got it right, people. Deadpool, directed by Tim Miller, directorial debut of this guy. Holy crap! Um, it stars. It's written by Reed Reese and Paul Warnick, starring Ryan Reynolds, uh, Morena. Moria Backer, and I, I think they say pronounce her name combo. E. S. Grind, T. J. Miller, Gina Carano, Brianna Hildebrand, Stefan Kepich. Count below. I don't even know. Um, uh, other people. Boo boo boo. Yeah. Anyways, uh. This movie is about is an origin story of Deadpool, but also he says like a, it's like a, also a love story. He even says at one point it's a horror story, which I thought was pretty, which is actually like that one. Um, yeah, I mean it's, a, it's different things, you know. It's about it's a kind of an origin story of how um, of Wade Wilson becoming Deadpool. Then of course you know his life falls apart, like his wife, his uh, girlfriend gets kidnapped, and he has to help get her back, and of course a lot of mayhem ensues, and one of my favorite movies of the year is Born. I was so excited for this movie, guys. This was, I was, I put this on excited for, in my, uh, my most anticipated films 2016, 2016 list. Same with uh, The Witch. I, I did mention that in my review. Well, that movie too, but you already knew that. Um, I was really excited for it. I loved the red, the first two Red Band trailers. Um, there's a lot, I mean, this guy went through like a decade trying to get this movie made. He was very devoted to the project, Ryan Reynolds, and it also, it looked like so much fun. And coming out of it, I loved it. I did kind of was a little conflicted about like saying, did I love it? Did I really like it? I know it's really weird, but I really was trying to give an honest opinion, and I really did. I love this movie. Is it anything amazing? No, it's not. <laughs> but it works as a movie. As a superhero film, as an entertaining, like a, a spring blockbuster, or like a winter blockbuster, I don't really care, either way, it delivered people. This movie was so, so fun and so funny. I mean, what else do I have to say it hasn't already been said about this movie? I know I've been extremely late, but let's get it done. Anyways, yeah. This movie was extremely fun. The action scenes are very well done. There you see all the blood and all some of the gore. There's actually a lot of gory parts to it. It gets very, it has a lot of, it's not, it's very understanding with some of its, understanding with its violence. There's actually a lot of parts where I actually, at one point where I said, oh, sh in the theater. That actually was pretty funny. Um, I mean, like, people get their head shot. There's people who get sliced up a bit. People, like, there's even, like, one scene where Deadpool cuts off his hand. The reference to that, like, the movie was referencing to that, oh, I love that one. That was one of my favorite references. So this guy is, makes a lot of referential jo self referential jokes. Um, it's bloody. It got it got that right about Deadpool. It just had to be, Radar said, be all out and bloody. Though I swear, it's now inspiring studios to make R-rated comic movies because that's a sell now. No, it's the quality of the film, not the rating, dumbass. Well, dumbasses, yeah. So, yeah. It definitely, I mean, it's extremely fun, and it's very violent. It works though, and this is and Deadpool's not your is not your conventional superhero. I mean, what I love the most about this movie, obviously, is Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds, this is the best performance I've seen him give. He is so so good as Deadpool. He's extremely funny. He has he just has so much fun with the role. He just keeps cracking jokes. He just loves he does a lot of fourth wall breaks. He doesn't take stuff too seriously, but when he does take seriously, he's still good as well. He has a great dark sense of humor. He's extremely he's, he just he just has a he just loves being humorous. He finds he's just so funny on screen. He makes a lot of jokes. He also does a lot he also kind of makes he also does a lot of silly stuff. He just makes me laugh my ass off constantly. And there's also some dramatic scenes that actually work. Surprising, isn't it? I'm being totally honest, they actually do work. That's cool. It's really cool. 
Maria Baccarin's also really good as Deadpool's girlfriend. And this is something that could really make or break this movie, and it's the romance, because this is actually a big, it actually plays a big part in the, in the story. And I liked it. It's nothing great, but it's definitely a fun romance. Because <laughs> what really gets out of it is the comedic chemistry. I think my favorite scene that involves the rom- I think my favorite scene between them two was them just having sex on different holidays. There's actually one involving Halloween. <laughs> Oh my god, that was gold. I love that one. I love that gag. That was probably one of my... I mean, just going through sex all different holidays and all the celebrations. That was probably my favorite, one of my favorite jokes in the entire movie. They really do push the R rating at points. Really more... Not really... I guess kind of bits of the language, but more of the, more of the violence and the sexual content. The strip, scene was, the strip club scene was pretty cool. And of course, the Stanley cameo. Oh, I love that one. Hell, I even said like a... Hell, he even made like a, a complaint about his cameo in Deadpool, not because of what he was doing. He just gets to do what he wanted to do in that scene, which was so fun. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh man, you don't expect Stan Lee to say something like that. I don't want to spoil it in case any of you have not seen the movie, but yeah, it's pretty damn funny. Um, the soundtrack has some. Co there's some cool soundtrack, cool songs that are actually really entertaining. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. This movie never always takes itself seriously. Sometimes it does, but mostly it's very just lighthearted and fun. It has a lot of comedy. It's, it's just meant to be very funny, and they're not afraid to let up on the humor. They'll get humor out of really anything, even like some of the worst things. And hey, no bound for me, no boundaries for comedy. All you have to do is just make it funny, and I'll and hope and hope and the result speaks for itself. Yeah, they get a lot of jokes at a lot of things. There's like, even like a guy splatting on a billboard. That to me was actually really funny. The action scene was really cool. The one they kind of recreated from test footage, but the one, you know, the test footage, that was really cool. I love test footage. And of course what they did with this one, how they did with this with the, with the, in the final film, that was really cool. I really love that one. Deadpool is a guy who's very sarcastic and he sometimes like sarcastic. And this guy feels like he can almost be like comic relief, where really comic relief only works really in small doses. But however, this guy's a lot of personality, and also he's not annoying. He cracks a lot of jokes, and the majority of them are funny. I was laughing my ass off so much throughout this movie. I really... I was laughing my ass off. I'm not even joking. This movie is actually extremely funny. I can't tell you how many times I was laughing out loud in the theater. I was enjoying the hell out of myself. I really was enjoying it. Some of the jokes they make are not as crude or as sexual as like maybe like the content itself, but it's still very good. There's a lot of funny jokes. T.J. Miller is of course the actual comedic relief, and people will say, "Oh, he's mu okay. He's actually good here. I'm like an Age of Extinction, whatever." I didn't see that. I don't really want to, but whatever. T.J. Miller is funny, especially that scene where he and like uh, Ryan, Ru he and Wade are just like talking together like in the bar when they're alone. That was actually pretty funny. Also there's like one joke he makes involving like you know the old blind lady that, that that Wade is living with like after the accident. That was actually oh my god that was so funny. <laughs> Seriously, they sometimes never hold their bounds for comedy. <laughs> they managed to do a lot and they managed to just make it funny. Oh uh, shit, that was shit so funny. So so funny. <laughs> Also, I have to say, it's a very fast-moving movie. It never got dull for me. I did not want to leave that theater once because I, because I mean, I was just enjoying what it was doing. It was so, so entertaining and so extremely funny. I just thought I ain't leaving this theater. I am going to stay in the seat from beginning to end. The opening title credits was also hilarious. And actually, I heard this was like edited on the Deutsche Premiere Pro CC. Cool. I mean, seriously, there's rarely any jokes that fail. There's a lot of attempts to try to do some mad jokes, but you can only do so many in this movie, and they do a lot of jokes. And to be honest, I would have been pissed off if not if there weren't as many funny jokes in the movie as there as they were in like in one version of the movie. Then said this final cut, that was just satisfying for me. I was laughing my ass off. Shit, did I forget something? Damn it! I got lost. I think. Yeah, I yeah, it moves quickly. There's never a dull moment once. It always moves very fast. It's not, and it just works for me as a whole. 
even when like where where it even seems like the slower parts, maybe such as the romance and the or and the overall origin story, what leads to him becoming dead, him becoming Deadpool, they do some new tricks. They they kind of cut back more between you know like the origin story and like him being in the action. Those are pretty cool. They it actually worked effectively for me. It keeps the movie full of energy, and it always like whenever there's like a boring parts, we go back to the cool, the fun parts, and it just gets better. Seriously, they even get some pretty good dark jokes out of there. And you guys know I'm a sucker for dark comedy, and some of them are just hilarious to me. The cab driver actually had some funny lines. Uh, love that. Also, I love Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And there's actually like one scene like involving like a Deadpool actually like kicking, like trying to be a Colossus, and he just keeps breaking his bones and like. Ne Negasonic is just laughing about it. Also, he's also like Deadpool saying, "Oh, the, the Negasonic Teenage Warhead's an awesome name." That was funny. I enjoyed her on screen. Also, I enjoyed Colossus. I guess it's nice having a character more like whose interpretation more faithful to the, more faithful to the comics. And the CGI work on him is great. <laughs> it's very well done. The action scenes between him and now, oh, shit. Hold on, a minute. Come on, against him and Angel Dust was pretty fun as well. It's also kind of funny seeing a, a character that does, that's kind of a bit more humble and, you know, not exactly a guy who's all out for the violence. He's a bit more rational and more thoughtful rather than Deadpool, rather than Wade, who's just all out insane and it's just freaking fun. I mean, what else do I have to say that hasn't already been said? It's just so fun. The CGI also, even for a low budget, really is good. I can see some people questioning it, mostly for the physics part of it, because for me, the way they're rendered isn't actually too bad. And I can definitely see some people having problems there, like maybe in terms of physics, but I'm fine with that. I never had any real problems with the CGI. Sometimes you can notice it a little bit, but it never bothered me too much. <laughs> mostly it's fine. You know, I'm switching back and forth between practical and special, between practical effects and CGI, it's very, it's not, it's actually almost like seamless. It's very effective and I really liked how it worked. The movie flows with a lot of energy. Seriously, I never, get, never really got that dull. Even when parts that seem dull, they always may seem to move it very along very quickly. I like that. The villain, Ed Scrum, like Ed Scrum plays the villain, um, he's not bad. He's not one of my favorite villains in the Marvel Cinematic Universe recently. I enjoyed him, same for Angel Dust, but nothing great. They're they're fun characters, that's really good. Angel Dust, I think, was was pretty funny action scenes. Also is a pretty funny running gag between like involved like, you know, like Wade saying like between like you know, like uh Ajax saying, What's my name? And you know you know, Deadpool is getting frustrated over it. There's even like one scene that actually was really funny. I mean, yeah. I don't know what to say about it. Negasonic Teenage Warhead was also a really cool of a character. I mean, there really isn't any real bad characters here, but I mean, if there's anything that could be weak, maybe Ed Scrine, but I still enjoyed Ed Scrine's screen. You know, he got to, he got to have, he did get some screen time, and he was enjoyable for what he was. He had a intimidating presence, he was fun to watch on screen. Also, the fight between him and Deadpool was pretty cool. They made tease in the trailer. <laughs> It's nice to see more graphic violence. I mean, we've seen this stuff before, like, you know, like, in kick at, like a kick-ass back in 2010. It ain't really revolutionary that they're doing this because they've done it, be because studios have done this before. They also do it with the Blade series, um, Watchmen, uh, I, I know this isn't a superhero film, this is a comic book film, 300th. Kick-Ass 2 also did that. Uh, Kingsman Secret Service, they've done this way before Deadpool did, but this may just be getting a lot more studios to make more stuff like this. Nice we're getting a sequel to this, obviously we're getting one. This, yeah, this movie really worked for me. You, now, in terms of issues, I guess you could say some people complain about Ed Scrine as Ajax. I didn't hate Ajax, I thought he was pretty enjoyable to watch on the screen for the most part. He was, in, I thought he was a fun character to watch. I liked him for what he did, and he actually is pretty intimidating. I actually didn't mind. I actually enjoyed him on screen. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't really didn't think it was that weak of a villain. I didn't have any big problems with it. The CGI I could see it be questionable, but I never had a big problem with it. It is a basic typical origin story, and they do try to change it up a little bit with the structure, like switching back and forth between the action and, of course, the origin, the actual origin. But 
I don't know. I never had a big problem with it. Because the movie moves along so quickly, and I was just enjoying the hell out of it, laughing my ass off, and just loving it all. I love the cast. Ryan Reynolds, this is... This, I love this guy. I love... This is a perfect role for him. Best performance yet. Can't wait for the sequel. Congratulations. De congratulations. They got Deadpool right. Yeah. Congratulations. Great directorial debut. Dead Tim Miller. You did a great job. Can't wait to see what you do next. Same for you. Same for everyone else involved coming back for the sequel. I really thought hard about it. But you know what? I love Deadpool. I do. Is it flawless? No. Not even close. But it worked for me. I was enjoying the hell out of it. And I also wanted... I wish I saw it again, but you know what? I have other stuff. Maybe I could see it again. I don't know, but I was enjoying the hell out of myself. I had such a fun time with this movie. I'm giving it a full 5 out of 5. I loved it. I mean, honest, uh, it's not it's not an amazing movie, but I enjoyed the hell out of it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, my review for Deadpool, comment below. What do you think about it? Um, you know, does this make up for what they did for him in X-Men Origins Wolverine? They actually had a cool in-joke about that. There's also meta-jokes I forgot to mention. Those were also really cool. I mean, like, anytime like, Deadpool would make a joke, almost every time it was funny. And he would just have like a lot of different times to make a joke. And they move along quickly. They never drag out too long. He need like the running gag with him to like figure out what like friend like all like Ajax's actual name. It was actually funny because they also did some funny stuff with it all the time. <laughs> really, the comedy moves fail you very quickly. They don't really throw jokes too much at you, which is a good thing. Like don't drag them out too long. What I mean. Thanks for watching, guys. Scratch out for more videos. Okay, so I decided to add more on my review for Deadpool because I feel like maybe I didn't get enough out. If I repeat myself, just tell me in the comment section below, but I don't really care to watch that one again, be my review, because I just want to get it done. Sorry. See, here, okay, I just want to talk about more about the romance. I like the chemistry between Maureen and Baccarin and Ryan Reynolds. I think that, you know, they work very good together. They're believable as a couple. They're nice. They're nothing amazing, but hey, I like them on screen. You know, they're enjoyable to watch. That's really more I can say about the romance. I mean, it's nothing amazing. It's not one of the best romances in recent memory. Better than, of course, Christian Grey. And Jamie Dorn, like, Jamie Dorn, Dakota Johnson, Fifty Shades of Grey. Fuck that movie. <laughs> but, I like it. It's nothing great, but I still, I enjoy it for what it was. Um, you know, Deadpool, he feels more like a comic relief character. And there are times where, like, with his attitude, he can become annoying. And he's very, he doesn't take everything too seriously, like the movie itself. But sometimes it does get serious, and he can be serious as well. So it's obvious he's a lot more just like a kind of a guy who just pops jokes once in a while. He can be a serious person, and I do like that about him. But I mean, he could also become annoying, but the thing is, he just has this energy to him, and he's so likable to watch on screen that really, nothing I found, I, know, I found nothing about him annoying, and his timing is great. Also, whenever they're switching back and forth, like between, like, you know, the uh, action, and of course, you know, the origin, that could be sometimes a bit of a problem involving tone, but for me, it worked. Mostly because there's also a lead into it. And also, like, it's it's a smooth, it's, a, it's not a bad transition. I mean, it moves along very quickly, so I never had a problem with the transitions between tones, or like, you know, or between, like, you know, whenever they're switching back and forth between the chronology, the timeline at times. I didn't mind it. A lot of cool jokes. Um, what else? I do like the end jokes to like, you know, X-Men involved, like, you know, oh, the studio can only afford, like, two X-Men. <laughs> also, it's kind of how they introduce Colossus, like, he's just eating cereal. And then, of course, hey, he's involved in the action. It's kind of funny. Um, I, also like the, I also like the fight sequences. Like I said, I like the fight sequences. They're fun. They're very fun. Also, seems to him decapitate people, and like, even use a guy's head. It was pretty fun. I like the violence. There's also no real shaky cam. It's so well done, well choreographed. Thank you, Tim Miller. He really is a good future as a director. And I especially can't wait for the sequel. Now, let's also talk about some other things, about the experience I had in the theater. I swear, it's like these parents don't know that it was rated R, didn't care. They just assume that, oh, it's a superhero movie, so we can take our kids to see it. Because there were kids in my theater. And actually, a funny thing, I didn't notice this when I was in the theater, but my friend said that whenever there's a story strip club scene, a little kid was kind of cheering. <laughs> and actually, like, the mom covered his eyes. <laughs> Are you stupid parents or what? 
I really, I feel like, not every superhero film is for PG-13. Kick-Ass is rated R, uh, Blade. I mean, this isn't anything new. They've done this back as far back as, I think, the late 90s. So, it's nothing new. <sighs> it's both kind of sad and kind of funny that a little kid was cheering at that. It's, I don't know. Maybe it's not, maybe I shouldn't be taking it that seriously because, I mean, whatever. This movie doesn't take itself that seriously at all. When it does take itself seriously, it's fine. I don't mind it. It works for what it, is, for what it does. But the comedy's where it hits high. Whereas the high points are. But I still like the serious parts. <laughs> Especially the scene where like a Deadpool's walking, trying to like, you know, trying to like talking to, trying to like almost like get, trying to get closer to his girlfriend, trying to consult, trying to, you know, talk and get some, get past some, of course, like, you know, like make up with her, but people are looking at him and, it's, and there's no real dialogue in that scene from him and it works. That always showcases a really good side of Ryan Reynolds as an actor, and I really like to see him do drama as well. I, I want to see Mississippi grind. I really do. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I mean, I find it kind of amazing that they didn't even, like, look up the rating for this. They just thought maybe it wouldn't be that bad. Maybe you should start looking up the rating or looking more into this movie or start watching the Red Band trailers, okay? Huh? I have to say, I guess the violence is more crude than the jokes themselves, but I think the jokes are crude and sexual enough to work for me. I, had, I didn't have a major problem with it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty funny. I mean, it's like these people don't know, they just don't care. You realize that, you know, not everything is going to be PG-13. And also, these studios are trying to also trying to bank off the R-rated success of this movie, thinking, oh, because it's rated R, it's going to make a lot of money. Stop with the quality over quality stuff, like this mentality that a rating affects the profit. It's the quality film itself, dumbass. Ugh. You gotta understand, I mean, they're trying to do an R-rated version of Batman v Superman. They're trying to do like an R-rated Wolverine movie. Whatever. I, mean, I guess that's not the baddest, worst idea. But Batman v Superman, really? That doesn't mean a good movie involving the rating. It's the quality of the film itself. Are you fucking joking or something like that? Fuck. I just... I get pissed off a lot. I really do. But... Use what they want. It's it's a quantity over quality mentality that I really wish will die. Hope will, that I wish will die. It won't though. Fun experience. My my eyes are laughing a lot, and same for me. I was enjoying the hell out of it, and so were they. Also, I do like the end credits. I, I didn't see the post credits scene, unfortunately. Hate me all you want. Um, but I do like some like the other references to like other Marvel superheroes and just you know other stuff in general involving like, you know the, those anim the animation. Those are animated sequences of the, uh, the credits. Those were pretty funny. I like that. And I like the soundtrack, you know. It's cool. Though nothing is memorable as Guardians of the Galaxy. But it's still a good soundtrack. Um, yeah. I think that's all I have left to say. I just find it amazing that, you know, parents took their kids to, took their kids to this. You should know his radar coming in. They advertised it for Christ's sake. He's not your average superhero. Maybe you should start looking more into it. I don't know, I don't think maybe the kids would be really like, traumatized by this because number one, it's meant to be fun and lighthearted play for comedy, mostly for the violence. It's fine with that. I'm fine with that. It never really offended me or like left me traumatized. Number one, I am 17, but you get the idea. <laughs> yeah, that's all I've left to say. Yeah, now I'm done with my Deadpool review, and I think I got over more of the points that I missed. Oh, probably missed. So, yeah, I'm done. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the review.